Good afternoon or evening, depending on when you're watching this. I'm Columbia Daily Tribune City Editor Matt Sanders. This is our uh, video digest for Monday, March 6th. Um, of course, it's Monday, so the week is new, but it's already, um, some people might say, uh, turning out to be a pretty bad one for the University of Missouri. Of course, yesterday, Coach Kim Anderson, <clears throat> men's basketball coach, uh, we found out that he was uh, being fired from his job at the end of the season. Uh, it's been a pretty bad run for Coach Anderson in terms of wins and losses over the past few years. Uh, and then this morning, uh, uh, State Auditor Nicole Galloway released an audit looking at the UM system's executive compensation and how much uh, the system has spent over the past few years in basically kind of, not necessarily off the books payments, but payments that uh, weren't listed publicly with salaries of administrators. Um, Here's the audit report I speak of. This is available on our website right now if you want to go and look at it for yourself. Uh, we've also got a story up that gives some of the highlights of that report. Uh, among them um, is that the UM system has paid out $2.4 million over the past three years on these off-payroll uh, payments to administrators. So that includes certain incentive payments for performance as well as compensation for things like uh, housing and cars, that sort of thing. Um, Auditor Nicole Galloway said that the payments are suspect in the auditor's office's opinion because the criteria for awarding them is subjective. Some employees don't know they're eligible to get them until after they've been paid. Uh, basically, uh, the state auditor says that the University of Missouri system is violating the state constitution. System says otherwise, accuses uh, Galloway's office of nitpicking, and says the payments do not violate state law. So. Uh, we're continuing to work on that story today, so look for updates to that throughout the day. Uh, also tonight, we're going to have two reporters at the Columbia City Council meeting, a couple of very uh, newsworthy things happening there. One is more public comment on the proposed zoning code changes. Um, we expect a lot of people to come out and talk in particular about uh, neighborhood protection standards that are in the code. Um, a lot of those standards uh, limit what people can do on certain types of property if they are adjacent to residential properties. So look for report, reporting on that tonight, as well as a story on uh, what the council decides to do with a prescription drug monitoring program. Uh, of course, that's something that's been in the news quite a bit. Uh, so yeah, look for those stories tonight and in Tuesday's uh, newspaper, which of course comes out in the morning. Uh, if you uh, need to contact us some way, you can always reach us via our social media accounts, Twitter and Facebook, or you can email us.